seen a few people want to install Ring integrated with Action tiles on their tablet. And this is very commonly with an Amazon Fire tablet. A couple things that I want to point out is I'm assuming you got Play Store already installed and Google Chrome. Uh, there's plenty of videos to do that. From Chrome, you're going to go to APK Pure. Uh, the reason we're going there to install our first application is we need an older version of it. Uh, and it gives you the ability. So you're going to search Ring here. Uh, and this is key because the newer versions of Ring or the current version doesn't work. Uh, it doesn't bring up the video. So once you find Ring Always Home, go ahead and scroll down to the older versions. Uh, I'll put a link to this as well. But you want 2.0.43.5 uh, and go ahead and install that. Uh, so this is the first of three applications that we're going to install. I'll go ahead and click OK on the installation prompt, and it should download. Now we're going to skip ahead a little bit so you don't have to watch the whole download. Once it's downloaded, go ahead and go through your normal installation uh, phase for Ring. And go ahead and sign on to your Ring account that is tied to your front doorbell. Uh, so here you can see we're signing in. So this is the only one that we have to get from the APK Pure website. From here we can go into the Play Store to install our other tool, two uh, applications. So the second one is the fully uh, kiosk browser. This is where we're going to run Action Tiles. Uh, you can run it in any browser. Uh, this is commonly used though. And then the last uh, application is called Automate It. Uh, so go ahead and download the free version of Automate It. Uh, the difference is the full version allows you to unlock the screen if you need screen unlock capabilities for whatever you're setting up. So once we open up Automate It, we'll see that there are five rules by default in there. I go ahead and delete those rules. I tend to not like extra rules. Uh, and then uh, don't install the rules again if it prompts you. Uh, so I uncheck these. Now I didn't really find the rules in the marketplace. I, I built the rules myself, so if I click on the plus sign. So the first rule that I make is actually a, a boot trigger. Uh, and what I like to do is run automate it on boot. Uh, so you're going to click on boot trigger change action uh, and then start the application and you're going to find automate it on your application list and click next and just give that uh, rule a name I'm going to call it startup here we don't need delayed execution on this rule uh, and you can either set the rule pop to yes or no it doesn't matter all it does is notify you when a rule happens I tend to like that now the second uh, rule is going to be on notification trigger and we're going to pick the ring application and this is where we're telling it if if I get a ring notification uh, to go ahead and pull ring up now don't worry about that logo that wasn't there that's okay it'll pop up on the next time it's just refreshing so start application action again and click ring again so what this will do is anytime ring sets a notification it will pull a ring to the front we don't want delayed execution on this one either the next one we will so we go ahead and name this as well I'm gonna call it launch video uh, or launch video doorbell uh, what have you now you'll notice the pop-up up top go ahead and click on that this is something in the Android OS that you need to select that will allow automate it to go ahead and bring that application up. Then I'm going to go back in to automate it one last time and make one last rule. And this is what's going to take us back to the Action Tiles interface. Uh, so again, notification trigger. We're going to do the same thing, the ring doorbell. And you'll see here in a second what we change. But anytime the ring doorbell notification happens, uh, we're going to uh, go ahead and launch the fully application which is where our browser is that has action tiles so we're going to navigate to fully kiosk browser right here now one big change is we're going to delay this execution the reason we're doing that is 
once we uh, have launched ring from that original notification two things are going to happen from that notification we're going to launch ring immediately which will pull up our video and then we're going to delay two minutes and launch action tiles or the fully browser that it's running in and this will bring us back to the starting point uh, and then we're going to go ahead and save this and at this point you are done and you're going to go ahead and launch uh, your uh, fully browser into action tiles and when you get a ring notification you will uh, get the the video that pops up as long as you're using the correct version of ring that's the most common issue so go ahead and log into your action tiles uh, which is what we're doing here we're going into the fully kiosk browser and then we're gonna say start using fully uh, I like to allow the full screen mode uh, we should see the picture rotate here so I've gone ahead and logged in uh, and then you can see my action tiles interface mine's pretty simple uh, and then when we pick a ring uh, or have a ring notification it will bring video to the front thanks